This is the mistake that controller manufacturers have been making since the dawn of time. Go power up tunes, yeah! Simeon, yeah. you, you got a beef, and your beef oh. is with the A and B buttons. Yeah. What's your beef with the A and B buttons? Oh. I got- mean, why? Why? Uh, okay. I mean, I mean, you got to be more specific about it. Okay, this is... This is bad. I, I... I I don't get it. I'm sorry. I don't. I don't. It's what it's... is your beef? <laughs> okay. First of all, th- th- there are three parts of this beef yes. with the A and B buttons, and some of you guys have already experienced this, or maybe you haven't noticed it, but I have always noticed it. There are three things. Okay. Number one, A and B. Are almost never in the same place. If you look at video game controllers, even not just Nintendo controllers, A and B are in different places. Mm-hmm. Sometimes they're different sizes, like GameCube controller, which GameCube controller is a different case. I'm going to get to it later. Yep. But sometimes it's like this, sometimes it's like this, sometimes it's like this. <laughs> and it's it just bad like why okay why would you change that this around? is this right it's thumbs up yes you if want you're it, you want this that is that because when you're holding a controller your arms aren't coming in from the yeah. northeast and the northwest why would you want to hold a controller like this and we're going to get into the worst defenders of this so it's supposed to go arm wrist hand thumb buttons yes you want two buttons under your thumb yeah it, even if they well stacking them isn't as comfortable you want that angle that your thumb is going to go to that 45 yeah. degree angle or something similar right <sighs> okay number two part of this beef is because they're almost never in the same position controls are in- inconsistent across platforms mm-hmm. so if you play Mario Super Mario Bros. 3 on NES. Yep. Run is B, jump is A. Super Mario World, same exact, or even Super Mario Bros. 3. Yes. <laughs> on the even that All one. Star. Wow. All Stars on uh, Super Nintendo. Yes. B is jump. And Y is run. Oh, or no. or maybe they kept it as B and A, and then you're back to square one. Um, but Super Mario World, Y is run. And yeah. B is jump, and A isn't even jump. It's weird spinny thing. So why did they make these <sighs> pairs and these pairs if their debut launch game uses these two? Should it not have gone this way to it match where your thumb lays? It should have. See, look at this. Okay. It's, Okay. N- number three is that the placement makes certain ergonomics difficult, which we've already talked I'm about. I'm sorry I jumped the gun. What 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 do you mean you sorry you jumped the gun? I'm sorry I said that point before you got to oh, it. Oh, that's okay. But, I mean, going back to the placement, A on Dreamcast is at the bottom. A and B is like to the right, I think. And then with Xbox is like... A is at the bottom and to the right or back or to the left or backwards. Yeah, my friend, my friend who is my little brother, <laughs> stayed over at my house and he has an Xbox and he was trying to play the Pro Controller and the buttons were rotated. One. Yeah, they're all rotated. One. What is that? Yeah. Why? Why would you do that? Now, for the most part, I gotta say that. Nintendo has been pretty consistent about the Super Nintendo. Once they hit Super Nintendo, they've liked this yeah. this layout, and they went back to it. They um, tried to starting... add some stuff like sticks and the more shoulder buttons, but that's kind of the controller right there. E- exactly. Once once we hit uh, the Wii Classic controller, yeah, we 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 came back to this, or this, I should say the DS. Even before that, we went back sure. to this button layout, and they've been pretty consistent about it. Which solves one problem, but not all the problems. 
MacDX watching live on YouTube says, I don't think Nintendo is much of a stickler for ergonomics. It took them a long time to give it any consideration, which is true, especially the NES controller being a square and everything, not comfy no. at all. No. But no controllers were back then. They learned. Simeon, how should it be for every one, for every controller for the rest of time? Okay, like I said, there are two, there are two ways of doing it. And Nintendo, like I said... Once they, once they got this, they knew they had something right with this. Now, B on NES was run, but now they assigned it to jump. Okay, if you're going to do it that way, B is always jump, which it hasn't always been. They've flip-flopped all over the place, and why should it be run? But no, uh, I say either stick with this or, like, NES was pretty good. Yeah. B is to the left of A. You run... And you jump. I know that's not the most ergonomic, but it's okay. So, your next question is... Which controllers get it right? Yeah, so these two go hand in hand. Which controllers get it right? So, SNES, if you're going that route, it gets it right. If you you're running with this and jumping with this, look at how comfortable that is. That is the way that my thumb falls. Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. The other ones that get it right are NES. They initially, I mean, it was a little bit sideways, but it still worked. And probably the one that got it best, which is sadly the worst controller ever, is the N64. Yeah. It had it literally perfectly lined up. A is here. B is here. <laughs> That is just perfect. Why would you go away from that? Like, your worst controller had the best button layout. Yep. Kind of. Uh, I, this is good, but once I, once again, it creates confusion. Another good point in the chat by MacTX. Uh, Sony needs an award for keeping their controllers consistent yes. through the generations. So yes. fans of that series of consoles can just pick the next one up and start playing. Indeed. Which controllers, Simeon, are the worst? Okay, okay, so the worst, the worst offenders of this are the NES Max, which is first party. Yep, that's the one in the thumbnail, it's guys. It's the one in the thumbnail. It's like this, literally upside down. Get a quick, it is, quick glance real quick. There it is. It's that. It is upside down. It is like playing with an SNES controller where this is run and this is jump. That is bad. Why would you do that? So you have to hold it like this. No, like this. Like this. Like, like this. Ooh. You're holding oh. it like this. Ooh. Why would you hold? Yeah, that's bad. Okay, so that's one of the worst ones. Also, Game Boy. Which is sad on the NES Max because you, you think like, whoa, they made an advanced controller for serious people. Because when I... Especially when I find stuff like that that's first party, I always kind of want to jump on it. But what's yeah. the next one? Okay, uh, go first of all, going back to the best. <laughs> also, arcade sticks okay. are good right. because I mean, typically button layout is you know nominal. Yeah. Um, can we go back to the little thing where oh. I'm on my list? Oh, I yes, know what yes, my yes, next yes. one is, but uh, Game Boy. Game Boy, I kind of understand though. Game Boy is also like this. Yeah. But the thing with Game Boy is most of the games made for Game Boy and what the Game Boy was purposed for was not high action platformer. Uh -huh. It was more puzzle games. It's more toned down where you clearly want to distinguish between B, cancel, and A, confirm. Yeah. Pokemon, you're not going to be holding True. and running and jumping. That makes sense. But still, if you have Gex on Game Boy, you're not going to be able to run and jump or whatever. You're, it's not built for fast action. Uh -huh. So it's kind of bad. Virtual Boy, also like this. Why? Virtual Boy, I think, is actually a pretty good controller overall, but why? I don't. I haven't played Virtual Boy that much. Yeah. Maybe it is more of a thing where you need to distinguish between the two. But... If you're running and jumping, you never want this. It's got two buttons on each side, and they're yeah. both like this. So Nintendo if, got it right with the SNES, and then they took a step backwards with yes, they Virtual did. Virtual Boy. They did. Um, yeah, and another thing is with Game Boy, all of the Game Boys were that way. Mm -hmm. They start, started with the first one, and every single one 
has it like this. Yep. So, the, I guess they just confirmed we don't want any fast-paced games on Game Boy. <laughs> I guess that that was their whole point: is Game Boy is for slow games. You doomed it to that, Nintendo. You really did. If you look at all the way up to Game Boy Micro. Teresa says, I don't know anything about video games, but is it possible you're just trying to find a way to pass the blame on bad gaming? Hashtag troll my husband because I have nothing to, better to do. <laughs> I, I I do have better things to do, but this is this is more fun sometimes. No, now, no, no. Because she has nothing oh, better to do. She has nothing do. better That's to do? That's why she's trolling you. Well, I know, but she's saying uh, we're just trying to find a way to pass the, the blame on bad gaming. Right. Um, I I enjoy that. That that makes me happy. It makes me feel like I'm not at fault for everything. <laughs> I'm joking. No. Um, GameCube, like I said earlier, is a little bit of an exception. It's kind of like with the Wii. Mm-hmm. And the Wii is on the back, and then A on the front. Yeah. That that's just a whole different controller, and that's what I see the GameCube as. Is GameCube is a controller that you almost have to design your games around. Yep. The games designed for the GameCube run well only because of the controller. If it was a different controller, it would be weird. Or um, if you put that controller with con- uh, games of different consoles it would be kind of weird and kind of mm-hmm. wonky because they didn't have that in mind. Um, and also I think that um, Mega Man X 4 through 6 is best controlled either with an arcade stick, which I haven't figured out how to do yet, or a GameCube controller. GameCube controller is great for Mega Man X 4 through 6. MacTX says, I can't remember ever having issues. He says, what about alternate control schemes? And Yellow Kazoo says, yeah, what about alternate controls? Well, I mean, those help. Th- those help, but that has, first of all, Nintendo has not been like the, alternate control schemes. They what are, you talking are about? typically not accessibility focused. Go and play Star Fox Assault. Great game. Look at the control options. They give you three control options. Yep. They start you off with the default one, which is. It's good. It's okay, but you're like, okay, th- there, there's a better way of doing this. Every other way is worse. The I, other two ways are worse. I think I want to try dual analog again, though. We'll see. Try it. All right. Try it. <laughs> um, but, like, ARMS is fully customizable. It's like, wow, Nintendo, you're actually allowing me to fully customize my controls? Yep. Perfect. Yep. But that's that's not been the case with Nintendo. Nintendo just fell way behind in the accessibility race Microsoft released so I can't remember the exact name but it's like a configurable controller for disabilities so it's like big pads um, things people can press with their shoulders um, huge That's great. buttons so yeah if Nintendo doesn't start becoming more accessibility minded then I think they're going to catch some heat yeah I- and like I said, this is good. They th- With the Switch, they finally are like, okay, we're going to stick with this because yep. it's good. And it is. Um, you just have to think in your mind, B is not run. Yes. B is jump. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Thanks for being a part of the crew. And Simeon's going to ask, tell you what to do. Oh, I had a rhyme there almost. Oh, well, yeah. <sighs> hey, it's pretty good. Don't forget to like this video. Give us a thumbs up. It helps us out a lot. It lets us know that you guys like what we're doing. That's right. Or maybe you don't like what we're doing. Or give us a thumbs down. Oh, no. That's cool. Hey. That's see, you. see you guys in the next video. Signing out.